Yeah, we got a grocery shop. We're going out of town at the end of the week, so we want to get a couple of things for that. Cat needs some food. Yum. So we often go to the Shell because they have lots of brony stuff, like cheese. <laughs> Booter. Macaroni's love cheese. We love cheese. It's really close to our place. We, it's walking distance from one shared taxi. Lettuce, onion, carrots, bell pepper. Hello, how are you? Good to see you. I'm good, thank you. We're okay today. Banana over there. Banana. Nice. So eggs have been kind of a problem for us. Sometimes you'll get them and they'll have a yellow yolk, and sometimes you'll get them and they'll have an orange yolk. We prefer the orange yolk. It feels like a more developed egg, um, healthier egg, and then the yellow yolk feels really weak and Super light. light. Super light. And I just, I don't like it at all. Um, so, and when you buy eggs, you're buying a lot at one time. So we often actually crack one of them before we're gonna take them all home, so. How much for one egg? Okay, I'm gonna take it. I wanna see the inside. Now we just have to get one last thing, and that is our bread, and we'll be good to go. A couple of bread. Ah, okay, so we just got back. It is hot. I just have to cool down a little bit, get the sweat off my lip, and then we'll show you everything that we ended up getting from the market, the gas station, and then little shops along the way. Whew. I got laundry to do, which we'll show y'all too. I'm so happy we have an, a working air conditioner. Oh my goodness. Ooh, what else is in the bag? Ooh, get it. So this is our haul. We went to the Shell gas station. We went to the new Elmina market. And we went to a shop that is just near our house. Okay, so let me tell you about all of the prices. Starting with my favorite, the tea bread. So this is three loaves of tea bread at three CDs a loaf. 
So nine CDs worth of tea bread. Delicious. Fresh baked today. Mm -hmm. Oh, so good. And then the bananas. Toby ate two of these bananas, or actually one was squished and Toby ate one. And so five CDs. Five CDs worth of onion. These two bundles of carrots were two CDs a piece, so four CDs. Potatoes, 12 CDs. One CD a piece for the bell pepper, so five CDs. Two CDs for the lettuce. And for this carton of eggs, which is 30 eggs, it was 25 CDs. So now let's talk about the stuff from Shell. We're gonna be a little bit more expensive here. Woo! So the packs of butter were 21.50 pesos. Cheese was 34.50. The cookies. Oh, the coconut cookies. These are Toby's favorite. Yum, and yum, they yum, just yum, went yum. up in price. So they used to be 12 CDs, and now, this week, they're 18.50. Inflation for this candy, 20 CDs. And we actually got this at the market. I'm sorry, I didn't say anything. This looks like we did. This was a market buy, and it's really delicious candy. So then we have the almond milk. These were 22.50 a piece. Boom. Soy, super. Dark soy, seven fifty, and the brown sugar was sixteen fifty. So that puts us at a total of. Ding, 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 ding. Here we are. Ooh, he looks hot. Yes. Hey. Okay. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? Yeah. How you doing? So right. that was a pretty rad trip, like really, really, really rad trip. We got everything done in like an hour and 20 minutes. We spent this much money and- Pretty economical. Yeah. yeah. Like transportation was cheap. The, you know, and I shouldn't say it was cheap, but uh, it was like compared to taking a private taxi. Woo! <laughs> And prices are going up because gas prices are going up. It's 8.28 uh, CDs a gallon here right now. Mm -hmm. And when we first arrived, it was like 6.70 maybe. I yeah. It, 6.79 maybe. Yeah. And just four months later to have it at 8.29. It's a lot. It's um, the reports are that in the last year it's doubled. So. Anyway, everything is going up, everything just costs more to get it, and we're trying to stay on top of that by picking the cheapest transportation. Yeah, we can, we can live this way. I think it's more than our means to sort of... Uh, yeah, it's uh, more economical to live in the way that you would see your average Ghanaian living instead of living in the way that you see your average expat living. I think for us. So, and we wanna, we're here for the long haul, you know? Yeah. We're building a home, we wanna be here forever. And part of that is understanding like how to live locally. Right. hurts my, my hands. Yeah, this is a little baby fingers. It does. Buckets, 
Buckets, buckets. Yes. So, this is water that has come out of the um, shower head, and the shower head has a filter on it. And this is what <laughs> filtered water in Ghana looks like. <laughs> So, you can understand why I also have that Berkey that pours out clear, crystal clear water. So this is the soap we use. <laughs> I think it's alright. Actually, what we do now is it's really harsh on your little baby fingers. Yeah, I can't. Mm -mm. So we have one bucket for washing. Wow. So in two ways, I'm a sort of agitator. Smell it clean. Somebody told us. Linen things. This is where the magic happens. Just a little time to get the knot felt together. Thank you, baby. Yeah, hit off. <laughs> the rinse water. Thank you, baby. You're doing so good. Yeah. I feel clean and I don't smell funny, so. Well, then maybe you No, I'm still getting, <laughs> I'm still getting laid. Yeah. <laughs> We're ready to dry. Uh, we've got some clothing lines out back. Uh, but it's really windy right now, and they're usually taken up by the neighbors anyway. Dish rags that will never become clean. Never again! <laughs> Oops. Let's see, I'll show you. So, this is the clothing line, and that big square is the septic tank. And then, if you look, zoom in you see this hole in the wall in the fence i guess that is where the landlord pumps the septic tank out into that field and i don't think that's allowed we actually googled it and it's not allowed Yay, clean clothes. Clean clothes clean so good. Clothes. I think we're gonna sign off. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>